I think it's really important to keep history alive. One is that um, it, it, it highlights the, the sense of your connection to that space, to that country, and in my case, uh, in terms of Gimoin. It also uh, is, is very important in that it gives you a strength of identity on who you are. And for me, as a Yidindu woman, um, that hi the history of this country, we, we call Gimo, is so important because I can go through the landscape, you know, Bunda Jambunji in the south, in the north of us, to the west of us, Bunda Mundagunji, then to the south of us, Bunda Jarrigan, and then to the east of us is Burrawangal, the, the Keynes Inlet. So the history about these uh, places have been handed down to us through the stories and, and dances. My role there as an elder is to ensure that a lot of our culture, our stories and our history are being told either through dance, through music uh, and through songs. I'm very much a part of uh, our cultural identity from this area and very strong in terms of ensuring that that history is also handed down through the next generation and onward so that won't be lost. Don't keep history a mystery. I think it relates, to me, it relates more to uh, the telling of the true history of this country. Because if we're looking at reconciliation, we cannot move forward without the truth. And the truth is, children were taken away from their parents and they were removed and put and institutionalised on reserves and then further institutionalised in dormitory system. That happened to my grandparents, to both of my grandparents, who were taken away from Kukuyala, New Kuka Imidi country, brought to Yarraba, um, and uh, they grew up there not being able to see their parents or their brother and sisters ever again. Not knowing who your grandparents, who your parents' children are and their siblings are, it is so, it, it, it chucks away at you, it takes away that spirit of who you really are and, and maintaining that identity as well from where you come from. Without the truth, we cannot move forward uh, in reconciliation.